In this video, we're going to work through a worded linear programming problem. A company prints two sizes of posters, size A and size B. Both have the same width, but are of different lengths. The posters can be joined to make large displays. A client requires a display that is at least 15 meters long, and it is to be made up of the two different size posters. Size A is 0.6 meters in length and costs eight pounds. Size B is 1.8 meters in length and costs 18 pounds. The client wants at least twice as many size A as size B and at least 14 of size A. The cost uh, to the client is to be minimized. OK, so. Um, when we are doing this, uh, because there is no part of the problem that has suggested what X and Y actually represent, I need to be clear and identify that. So I need to define my variables first. So I'm going to let X be the number of size A posters. And I'm going to let Y be the number of size B posters. OK, so now that I've done that, now I can start setting up my problem. So because the cost of the client is to be minimized, I need to write down that I am minimizing. Uh, and I'm going to use capital C to represent the cost. So C is going to be the cost. And that's going to be down to how much each of the posters costs, of course. So um, we're going to have eight pounds times every single um, size A poster that I have. So that's eight pound times X because X is the number of size A posters. And I'm going to have 18 pounds times the number of size B posters, which is 18. So I'm minimizing 8X plus 18Y. Okay, so that's the first bit. Now, what about my constraints? So subject two. Now, I know that uh, the client requires a display that is at least 15 meters long. And I know how long each of the posters needs to be. So I'm going to have that 0 0.6 meters times by the number of size A plus 1.8 times the number of size B has got to be at least 15 meters. So greater than or equal to 15. Now, I don't particularly want to keep it with decimals. So I'm going to make this easier for myself. I'm going to multiply uh, through by 10 to get 6x plus 18y is greater than or equal to 150. And then I could divide through by 6. So x plus 3y has got to be greater than or equal to 25. And that would be easier for me to draw. OK, now what else have I got? So I've got that inequality there. Now, I'm also told that the client wants at least twice as many size A as size B. Now, this is um, one of these inequalities is probably one of the trickiest constraints uh, to, well, I find them tricky, um, to uh, write down. So when we say at least twice as many size A as size B, OK, um, I want, um, let's say, if if X is... 10, so there's 10 of size A, then I need at least 20 of size B. Okay, that's what it's saying. So it, it would be like saying, so I've got 10 of size A, So if I've got 10 of size A and I need twice as many of size A as size B, then I'm going to need at least 20 of size B. That's what that means. So because size A is the X and size 
B is the Y. What you want here is that X is greater than or equal to 2Y. So that the number of size A is at least twice as many size B. So X is greater than or equal to 2Y. Um, it's quite often you kind of think that it should be the other way around. But it, when you kind of really think about what that inequality means, that's not the case. So that is the correct way around there. Okay, and we also have at least 14 must be of size A. So X must be greater than or equal to 14. And of course, we know that Y would have to be greater than or equal to 0 because we couldn't have... Not, we couldn't have negative y, so that's the non-negativity part, as we refer to it. Okay, so now we've got our constraints. We've got our linear programming problem. So now we need to draw it. Okay, so um, first of all, let's deal with um, x. Well, let's deal with... Um, this one first, shall we? Let's go over that one. X plus 3Y is greater than or equal to 25. So, uh, when Y is 0, X is 25, which is unfortunately off the grid. So, we can't do that. So, um, how about if Y was equal to 1? We would have x plus 3 lots of 1 is equal to 25. So uh, that's not going to be any good either, is it? <laughs> so we can't have that. So that don't work. Let's try how about y is 2. Okay, so y is 2. We're going to have x plus 6 is equal to 25. Oh, well, that would be all right, because x then would be equal to 19. So 19, 2, so that point there, I'm just slightly off on my grid. Let me just try that again. A little bit better. So 19, 2, that is a point there. So we've got that one. Okay, well, let's try another point, shall we? Um... Should we try, um, let's try y is equal to 5. So when y is equal to 5, we're going to have x plus 15 is equal to 25. So that means that x would be equal to 10. So 10 and 5 is that point there. So I want a line going through those two points. So something like that. So something like that. Okay. So we've got that first one. Okay. Let's erase that bit. Give myself a little bit of space. So let's figure out the region for this one. So if we try 0, 0, then we're going to get 0 plus 0. Is that greater than or equal to 25? Well, no. Uh, so that means we want to shade the region with 0, 0 in it. So we want to shade the bottom region. And we want the top region. Okay. So we've got that one. Right, let's go to the next one. So x is greater than or equal to 2y. So we know that this is going to go through the origin. That's all right. And when x is 10, y is going to be, uh, what would y be? 5. We could do that. Or actually, when x is, let's go all the way to the end. When x is 20, y was going to be 10. Oh, missed that. Okay. So we're going to draw a line going through those two points, like so. Now, unfortunately, 0, 0 is on the line, so I can't use that one. So if I used uh, 0, 1, so um, if I use the point 0, 1 on this, 
I'm going to have, well, the x value is 0. Is that greater than or equal to 2 lots of 1? Well, no. So 0, 1 is not in the region that I want. So I need to shade the top region for this one. Okay, so I've got that. Okay, give myself a little bit of space. Right. Uh, let's take a look at x is greater than or equal to 14 next. So that is going to be a vertical line. Like so. So x equals 14. Uh, because we want x is greater than or equal to 14, I'm going to shade the region to the left. Okay. And, of course, we've also got y is greater than or equal to 0. So we're going to shade this region here. Okay. So... It actually doesn't affect the feasible region that I can see on my graph uh, because this is my feasible region. Right. Now we want to minimize the uh, c equals 8x plus 18y. Okay. So I'm going to go back to red. I should get a pink now, I think. Right. So... Um, the question is, it's got to be a point within the feasible region. And because we're talking about uh, these posters and we've got the context, um, really only an integer solution will suffice here. So you'd probably be thinking, well, it's probably going to be maybe that point there, or it could be that point there. Um, I mean, we could look at this one, but I expect if it's not... The previous point it won't be that one um so you'd probably be thinking it's going to hit maybe one of these points first okay so let's consider a few of these points so x y and we've got 8x plus 18y So the first one I identified, so that one there, uh, that point is 14, 4. The next candidate that I pointed out was this one here, which is 16, 3. Okay. So um, let's also try um, 19, 2, but... That's probably not going to be any good. And I'll also try uh, 14, 5, just to show that one as well. Okay. Right. Because because it's 8x plus 18y, clearly 14, 5 is going to give a larger value than 14, 4. But I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. So 8 lots of 14 plus 18 lots of 4 gives us 184. Uh, we've got 16, so sorry, 8 lots of 16 plus 18 lots of 3, which gives us 182. Uh, then we've got 8 times 19 plus 2 lots, so 18 lots of 2, uh, which is 188. And we've got 8 lots of 14 plus 18 lots of 5, so that's 202. So remember, these are all prices in pounds. So the minimum is actually this one, uh, which was the uh, 16.3. So that one there, that's actually giving us our minimum. So x is equal to 16. So 16 of size A and y is equal to 3. And the minimum cost is actually equal to 182 pounds. Okay, and so that's how we can go from a worded problem 
to the uh, constraints and the linear programming problem down to graphing it and solving it.